world disguise self figure in the crowd. <laughs> what if Lucy was dead? Or is dead? Well, so so that's what I kind of wanted to suss out. I thought she was dead, and I was going <laughs> to see like a dead life disguise himself as a dead Yeah, why don't you just <laughs> ask somebody? I'm sure somebody else You gotta else ask somebody, somebody <laughs> not impersonate the dead person. <laughs> person. Not impersonate the dead ask person. Who is that the, 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 listen, it's an adventurer's school. Like, they have uh, in memoriam sections in the yearbook. Oh, right, but I'm saying, so, okay, we should, yeah, fuck. We can we just go back and get it. Yeah, we don't have to show All right, now, I, well, I sprint up and I rip out the In Memoriam page and I sprint back. I tell him all about Cassandra and, like, all the stuff that went down uh, and how awful it is. Uh, Rog gives you the biggest hug for a long, long time. I'm crying so hard, I'm going, and, like, just the campaign, man. Like, it's also really hard. And, like, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's the can that's what it is. It's the campaign. Yeah, and, you know, I just got to focus on one one win, and it kind of seems like maybe this is the one win. Um, I rolled a natural one, but now that I'm level 11, I have reliable talent. So if I'm proficient, a uh, roll of nine or lower is a 10, so 21. 21 no matter what I'm investigating. The best oh, Murph power of all so time. Good. You literally can't roll low. That it's possible that an extremely talented rogue could have been here and you wouldn't know. It narrows it down to this like very specific window of time because they added her to the end of the So it's at the end, end of, of sophomore, sophomore year. year. She died, but when I saw Ivy, Ivy didn't look like, oh my God, a ghost. She looked like. But maybe she died in a way that kind of like but like is it maybe they faked some kind of. Oh, yeah, That's, maybe. Oh. Oh. Where's uh, Madam President elect? <laughs> Uh, she was just here, but she had to go uh, deal with some constituents and some concerns about safety measures at the steel factory, you know, just all in a day's work for a president. Oh, yeah. Class president. Very understandable. <laughs> she looks over at you, Fig, and smiles and says, Love those leggings, like fishnet. There's like a couple of threads broken, like you maybe scuffed your knees. Are you much of a skateboarder? Yeah, I'm a skateboarder. So did everyone go, is there a reason I'm still hiding? <laughs> message I you back. I have no idea so. why you I message you back and I say, you can make a really campy entrance. I get I get out of the clothes and I go, <laughs> oh, oh, Madam President. Oh, oh a quick sorry, power now for your uh, <laughs> campaign announcement. Make sorry, sense. guys. I was so tired and like a little bit bored. <laughs> you see Ivy standing next to Maisie goes, Twister, what were you, middle school? And you watch Maisie get like very hurt. I fucking love to play Twister. Maisie smiles at you, looking very heartened. Ivy purses her lips and uh, just sort of smiles at you and says, bit chilly. Can I? That's the ice muffins. Can I? <laughs> can I try to, I try I to get? I love drunk Adelaide so much. The ice muffins. I yeah. made it really cold in here. Can you get them out of here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stay up here and do snuff. Uh, as sadly, uh, Twister is not my style. Ivy grins and says, "Bye bye, Macy." Maisie turns around and has a little sort of a deep sort of like sigh, and she looks and says. <sighs> Let's go. Uh, and you see that she picks you up and puts yeah. you up on her giant shoulder. I mouth to fig, use this. Uh, <laughs> in with the bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, Listen, fine. I go, follow the money. <laughs> I don't um, know what it means. Um, you fucking rule. Oh, thanks. You know who's going to rule? Fig, <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> You don't have to. I message Fig and go, do it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, I don't know what's happening. With tears in my eyes. <laughs> Kristen Applebee's. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> With tears. Hey, the energies that formed the universe were inherently destructive. Destruction and creation. That's the that's the beautiful cycle. Uh, Max Durden shows up, whose eyes are bloodshot red, and he goes like, "You still didn't talk about philosophy?" I'm just trying to decide if I want to be a bard anymore. Yeah, I think I want to. I feel like the universe created itself to better understand itself. Max, oh. hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ivy, we got to roll. Kipper Lily's calling, um, and you see that Ivy says. 
What's a pity? And wanders out after Oshin. Kristen, what I'm the so fuck? Sorry. I'm so what sorry. The Look, fuck, I'm just like, we Kristen, haven't really Did you see how seen... mean I was to that other person? <laughs> yeah, you... And for what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go play Twister. You've ruined your relationship with no. her. What? <laughs> we all watched you be a social coward. Baby. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. Well, then why did you stay? I'm so... You understood my sacrifice? <laughs> Max Durden says, awesome, see you guys at. See you guys at practice. By the way, we, I think we broke something in the basement. What? Sorry. Bye. Seems fine, probably. <laughs> there is an enormous thing in the basement that is this massive Arcanotech construction uh, that looks like it was bought. Cloud Rider engine. Cloud Rider engine. Right. Weird. Uh, can I open it? Uh, yeah, it's partially open, it? and the machine is—it's like it's been knocked over, and some shit's broken inside. This was, this was an up to something. This was an intentional. What? Uh, you see a bunch of ice methods fly in, and start ginning up the kids. Start getting the kids like ginned up and rowdy, and then they start wrestling, and the ice methods are like nut tapping people and blowing frost on on their faces, and like just like getting people riled up. Although this would be very very convenient if you're a conjuration wizard and you wanted to imitate someone else. Everyone wanted us to do drugs. Is it possible they're trying to get us kicked out of I think our various I think clubs Pepper and school? Lily was here and trying, trying to, to get us kicked out. Trying to take oh. a picture of us taking drugs. Yep. Yep. Oh. Are we not supposed to take drugs? Yeah, we murder people. Would we get? We're not allowed to take drugs. Maybe if you're running for office. Well, here's the thing: it never would have been a problem when Arthur Eggfort was principal. Oh. Adine, you're transit. You're just off somewhere. Uh, Adine, for the first time, is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Fully passed out, <laughs> snoring on a couch. <laughs> snoring on a couch. Yeah, we keep bees. Holy shit! Can I have a hive? Do you want to join the ape tourists? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Great. Well, it's great. it looks great on a college resume. How many of you are there? <laughs> well, uh, Ms. Faith will make three. And me. So that's... Oh, no, wait, I'm oh. not. <laughs> You're number two. Oh, the whole that's club's here, huh? This is good. wielding a weapon and no one wants to be in this club. Fig Faith, Rizka Check, <laughs> and Gertie Blade Shield. Hey, right. Gertie Blade Shield? Uh, honey? Fresh number honey? Five? five? You have a president oh coming out here. Oh my God! Everyone starts to wake up. Is it local honey or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah what are we doing in the park? And you see, there's a little glass jar of honey inside. <gasps> oh my God! So we I don't even some. need to join because the honey's already here. There you go. And a uh, benefit of honey is. Oh, that's it, not that good. Can I do an insight check for hey, a second? Fuck you, man! <laughs> okay. I don't give a shit whose kid you are. Yeah, I give her the help yeah. action. Yeah. Uh, she yeah. says, "Get ready for Blade Shield." What the hell? Yeah. come to me. I cast uh, heroism on Gertie. That's great. <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> uh, DC seventeen. Check to resist the trip. Where's she resists the trip. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I bonus action cast Shield of Faith, her AC goes up by two. <laughs> See, she says, I'm leaving. And as she walks out, Fabian, you get a blip on your phone. Nemesis alert, new nemesis detected. <laughs> I don't even know now if we're invited to the beach. Honey's so good. <laughs> even if it's poison, it's just so good. <laughs> Let me get you some real honey, all right? Let me get you some good honey. <laughs> you don't anything in your house. As your face is covered in honey, you feel your crystal starts ringing. Right. It's an unknown number. OK, hello. You've reached um, pr presidential candidate Kristen Applebee's. Hey, Kristen. Hey, track, tracky. Hey, I am really sorry to call. I just promised that I'd give her an answer today. The answer can be no if you're not comfortable. But if the answer is no, there probably is like a, a an amount of time where it will become necessary for me to like you know I, if there's a if there's a window that you feel is respectful for me to not say publicly that I'm with somebody. Oh. Uh, well, honestly, you're catching me at a, a really hard time. Cassandra uh, shattered into a million pieces after choking on a shrimp. So. <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think that shrimp was a bit that big deal. <laughs> Mostly she just choked on a shrimp. Actually, we were really up. Uh, we were, we were about to win uh, everything. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I was completely honest. I'm having an awful night, and so tonight's not really the night to give you, like, a, a really honest answer about our 
relationship. Great. Okay. Is that all you wanted to ask? If you could post about your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I uh, think you should just do it and I'll figure out a way with the tools that I have, <laughs> which are... How did you pick, like, the moon? And do you ever think about just, like, dropping it and starting a whole new thing that you've <laughs> kind of made up yourself? Kristen, I don't think you've ever dealt with helium. You were like, yeah, this is bullshit, and I'm leaving. But you never grappled with the parts of it that fucking worked for you. You were chosen. All you had to do was do the shit everybody always said you're gonna do. And then you wandered out into the wilderness where you had to make meaning for yourself. And the truth is, Kristen, as much as you like the idea of making meaning, you don't wanna do it, because it's hard. Yeah, is you wanted something helio-shaped. You wanted something where the engine was already running and all the machinery was there and you could just step in and have a waiting flock ready to raise their hands up and say, this is the chosen one. I just... You know how rare it is for a god to die? Yeah. Your last two in high school. Maybe she had a shrimp allergy. You don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> As one of my loose ends I'd love to tie up nicely, I hope <laughs> your new partner is really fucking hot. All right, Kristen. And I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I thought that was a pretty, like, solid, like, kind of dunk last line yeah. of being like, you can have a hot girlfriend. I don't care. Yeah. Like, no, I thought I that love... was pretty OK, like... yeah. Riz, you're the only one who's honest with me. As my campaign manager, was that right. good? No, I mean, you started to say no. No, it's, <laughs> I think we all need time, right? We all need. Oh, that Naradriel. Have I met her? Do I know her? Yeah, I think you she's know. like she sucks. You're so much better than her. Thank you remember you. those dancing teens, the horny dancing teens in the wood? That was her. I think she was probably one of them. Yeah. Fuck! Did she meet her in Falinel when we were there? Did she? <gasps> Daddy, I can't think about I'm overlap. So I can't think about overlap. I'm so sorry. Let's roll a luck check in front of the board. <laughs> you want a high number. It's a six. You feel like the face is a little bit familiar. Okay. And just text tracker, um, <laughs> tough but fair, uh, have a great life. <laughs> um, <laughs> tough but fair, have a great life. Uh, a tray of like 12 full chicken parms with like fresh basil on them. How many chicken parms? up on your shitty eggs in a <laughs> salad bowl. It wasn't my shitty eggs, it was the Unseen Servants. Babe, how many chicken parms you want? Oh, uh, one. <laughs> I'll start with one. Okay, three. start one, three. Okay. You can have three. A, I'll take a gardener's dozen. A gardener's dozen, <laughs> you got it. Uh, 24 chicken parms <laughs> coming right up. You I see? eat them all. Uh, My anger keeps it at bay. Who is the fiend? The fiend is, uh, no, the fiend was named Bakur. And you know it's still in there? There's like, you can feel it. I can feel him. I, I'm hurting him constantly. Oh, okay. Bakur was the right hand, was a, a pit fiend, was the right hand of a fallen god, a dead god. Who? What was their name? We don't know. They're fallen. I mean, they fell a long time ago. Do you have sort of a playful antagonism with Bakur, sort of like, a, you know, the TV like show you Luther? Could ask him. You know, well, Idris Elba and Ruth Wilson and Luther? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not It's not exactly like Ruth Wilson. Um, <laughs> Stop bringing up couple of things. <laughs> if, if Bakur was to talk about them, then it would be resuscitating to the god? That's like the idea, right? Like, like, yeah. Like what how, if, what happened with the... Yeah, but if the god's not dead... That Cassandra said something about, I thought you were dead, the really messed up thing about that to me was that Bakur was trying to bring the god back from the dead. That was the whole thing we were trying to stop. The reason it didn't work and we were able to stop him was because he actually needed a place that uh, the god could only come back in a place where a god had been like born or created.